Europe needs you more than ever. We live in worrying times. Brexit looms in the UK, weakening Britain and the EU. Authoritarianism is on the march in countries like Hungary and Poland. Matteo Salvini's intolerant ideas have reached the Italian government. And unfortunately, there's still more going on. Did you know that fundamental rights are being challenged in Spain? A year ago, an unsanctioned referendum on self-determination was held in Catalonia, and over two million people went to the polling stations to exercise their right to vote. To prevent this, the Spanish government had previously deployed 10,000 police officers throughout Catalonia. They raided polling stations, like this one behind me, beating peaceful voters, standing in line to vote, and seizing ballot boxes. and no one has been held accountable for the police brutality. In contrast, two civil society leaders, six former Catalan government officials, several members of the Catalan parliament, and almost 1,000 other people are now being put on trial. What's more, seven Catalan political leaders are currently in exile in the UK, Belgium, and Switzerland. They would have been imprisoned if they had remained in Spain. What was their crime? Exercising their civil rights and supporting people's rights to vote. Several international human rights associations have condemned this situation and have raised the alarm that various fundamental rights may have been violated, like those of Jordi Cuchar, for instance. He is the president of Omnium Cultural, the main cultural and pro-civil rights association in Catalonia. Inexplicably, he has been charged with rebellion and could be facing a 17-year prison sentence. But did Jordi Cuchar really take part in a rebellion? No. Because according to Spain's criminal code, the charge of rebellion is only applicable to cases of participation in a violent uprising aimed at carrying out a coup. Yet there was no violent uprising in Catalonia in 2017. And not just because I say so. Impartial courts in Germany and Belgium have already dismissed the charge. The referendum supporters were always peaceful. As a matter of fact, Jordi Cuchar is well known as a pacifist who called for peaceful protests at all times. However, he has been in pre-trial detention without bail or trial for more than a year. His civil rights have been violated. Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly and the right to peacefully protest. If Jordi Cuchar is convicted, it would set a worrying precedent for other activists advocating for human rights across Europe. It is likewise shocking that Vox, a Spanish extreme right-wing political party, has been allowed to be one of the accusers on this trial. This adds up to what many law experts deem a flawed judicial process, hence an unfair trial. Besides, prison sentences for all the defendants would only increase the political tensions between Catalonia and Spain, rather than create the political climate required to resolve the crisis. The Catalan issue should be settled by political means, not by judicial ones. Europe should urge both the Spanish and Catalan governments to sit down at the negotiating table to find a political and democratic solution. Help us to solve this situation. Stand up for human rights in Europe. Share this video. Send an email to your political representatives. You can make a difference. We can all protect European values.